Hi everyone, this is Karel from Checkroom and in this video I want to show you what to do when your Dymo printer is no longer working. So, let's get straight into it. First, you have to make sure that you have the latest version of Dymo label software installed. After installing the latest version, you need to restart your computer. But before you do that, make sure the printer is connected to your computer with a direct USB connection and not with a USB hub or USB extension. Also, make sure the printer is powered on. The next step would be to check if the Dymo software itself is working correctly. First, find the Dymo icon on the top ribbon when you're using Mac or on the bottom of your screen when you have Windows. Just click Diagnose and if your web service is working correctly, you will see a success message. If you're on Mac OS X and you receive an error message after clicking the Diagnose button, disconnect your printer from your computer, then fully delete the Dymo label software from your computer. After uninstalling the Dymo software, you also need to manually remove the Dymo certificate. Press Command and Space and search for the Keychain Access app. In Keychain Access, click System and look for the Dymo Root CA certificate. Right click and choose Delete Dymo Root CA. Now download and install the latest version of Dymo label software again. Restart your computer after the installation. Connect your printer again and now you should be able to print from Checkroom. No success just yet? Well, I still have some ideas. The next step is to test the Dymo installation with our Checkroom and see if that works. You can use their free Dymo test tool to create and print a sample label. The other thing that might cause the printer to sometimes malfunction is related to multiple users being logged in on the same computer. So make sure that you are the only person who is logged in. If none of the suggestions have resolved your issue, then you can send us the Dymo web service log file, which might contain more information about what's preventing you from printing a label. See our help article to find the path that you need to copy in order to find the log file. I hope that your Dymo printer is working correctly by now, because using asset labels will greatly improve your checkroom workflow. If you have any questions about the asset labels, please check out our asset labeling guide. Until next time, bye!